churches, right? And it is not um, coaches in, in worldwide are not don't often have contract with boxers. So why are you changing that status quo? I am the president. I am the president, and we have a new management. You understand? The boxing rules can be amended. You understand? Uh, if you have uh, a branch of your team that is getting weaker all the time as a leader, you have to see how best you can strengthen that branch. And that branch is the most important branch in the game. Without the coaches, there will not be managers. Without the coaches, there will not be promoters. Without the coaches, there will not be a GBA. Because the coaches decided I will not teach the boys boxing. He will not pick anybody from the street and train him to become a boxer. So your lifeline is getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And as a leader, you don't want to do anything about it. One day, you go off. You understand? So uh, I think all of them have to understand. I told you I've been a manager for the past 10 years. I've been a promoter. With that, it, it was a coach who brought me into boxing. Napoleon Tebo. You understand? And then he gave me Game Boy. I don't know Game Boy from anywhere. But Napoleon told me that, manager, you want a boxer to manage, take Emmanuel Tebo. So it is the coaches, they, they run the show. But at the end of the day, they don't benefit from anything. So I, I, I spoke to the boxers. It's not that I'm enforcing it on the boxers. I went to the boxers association and I, I, I explained to them why they have to be with their coaches. Because you see, somebody who has started something with you will not go and compromise with any other person there against you. You understand? So uh, 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 I spoke to the Boxers Association. I met all the boxers. And then we decided on this. You understand? And most of the boxers are happy. Yes. OK. That's, that's uh, a good explanation. Uh, that leads me to uh, last time uh, I heard you on a platform. I don't remember, but you were speaking about the welfare of boxers, uh, how has that been so far in terms of ensuring boxers and those that have passed all those welfare for boxers? Well, uh, uh, if you look at it, we, 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 we took the first step by doing the, uh, uh, the first one, the health insurance, the national health insurance uh, for over nine, uh, 90 of the boxers. Uh, we are going ahead. Uh, to do uh, fight insurance also for uh, the boxers. So we, we, we are taking step, uh, step by step. For me, I think uh, it is something that we have to do. Uh, we pray that our champions will, will see the reason why they have to come and help Ghana Boxing Authority by coming in to pay their percentages and other things to help Ghana Boxing Authority and all these things will be done. Yes. OK. As I, as I run up, eh, I wrap up, uh, Mr. President, this is, a, this is a personal suggestion. I think it's about time the GBA and the Amateur Federation come together and write a proposal to the government, just as the government is setting up football pitches around communities in Ghana, it's time we have produced 10 world champions and it's time the, uh, the ministry builds an exclusive boxing gym for boxers, both pro and amateur. I just hope the administration will carry up this humble. Well, uh, you can see the boxing arena is here. Uh, so for me, I think the government has done something. Uh, uh, we coming together with the amateur uh, is something I'm already doing, even though we are professional body. The amateurs, they are rule, 
they are not supposed to get closer to us. But uh, because if you look at the IBA rules, uh, amateur and professions are two separate uh, organizations. But we in Ghana here, we try not to leave them behind. For me, I think that uh, I just told you the earlier on. Mm. I'll make the boxing very attractive and the government will change me. And that is what I'm starting. You see, the football did not just stand up one day and they have all this support, you understand? And then I believe in that. Uh, starting the league and moving forward and then uh, making Ghanaians themselves accepting the boxing, the government will see the need to help boxing. I told you that the boxing had been a number one sport. Uh, people, some people believe it, some people don't believe it. But in my time, I'm going to make people believe it that boxing is the number one sport. We are the only people that can boast of 10 titles in this country. So boxing, boxing has been there and boxing will continue to be there. Yes. Okay. Uh, as time is against us, I don't know which question to ask. Let me just ask. Just, I have a lot, but let me just wrap up with this. It's about the constitution of the GBA board. There has been a lot of critique that you have no lawyer on the board in order to regulate uh, the activities or advise you in terms of when it comes to the law and there's no technical advisor. The technical advisor's position, the, the former technical advisor has been, position has been changed. So I don't know what, uh, how you respond to that. Well, uh, if somebody says, I don't have a lawyer as a board member, does it mean we don't have a lawyer as an, an authority? Hmm? As a board member. Why do we have to have a lawyer as a board member? We have a lawyer, but if the lawyer on his video schedules, he want to be assigned to work with Ghana Boxing Authority, that there's no rules or constitution that enforce a lawyer, a by force lawyer on the board. You, you understand me? So I don't know who is talking about, what somebody is talking about. My brother, let me tell you straightforward. Look, there is a constitution. We are going according to the constitution. The constitution need an amendment and we're giving it to the lawyer. And then the team, we set a committee. J. A. Annan is the grandfather of uh, boxing. He, he is the one who puts his hands on the constitution. You understand? So uh, a lot of people are saying things that they have no idea about. You understand? We have a lawyer. The GBA have a lawyer. My brother, which organization don't have a lawyer? Oh, those people, they want to see the lawyer. They should come and ask the GBA and will direct you to so uh, 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 lawyer Ade. Okay. Lawyer Ade is our lawyer. Okay. You understand? So we have a lawyer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, though there are more questions, I appreciate your time. You can ask me. I should ask you. Yes. Okay, that's very fine. And you did not answer the technical advisor. Well, with the technical advisor, who was the former technical advisor? It's Carloco. You understand? I'm the new president. And I come. I change Carloco. I put Carloco on the committee, the rating committee. And I decided, with a decision of the board, we decided to put Shadradakwe as a technical director. What is the problem with it? It's the board decision. You understand? Kaluku is part of the board. He did not complain. So who is complaining? He's, he's, he's very happy where he's working with the uh, rating committee. He's happy there. So who is complaining? The GBA is an authority, and it, and it regulates the, the boxing industry. There should not be a player 
whom they regulate to also be on its executive board or its uh, be an executive member? My brother, the Kaloko who is a coach and is on the board is an elected member. I did not, I went for an election. Kaloko too went for an election. I was then not the, uh, the president. I wasn't part of the planning committee or the uh, election committee. They, they allowed uh, Kaloko to pay for a, a nomination, and he went through an election. He did a campaign. He went through vetting. The, vet, uh, the vetting committee passed him, and they allowed him. He went through the election, and he won the election. The referees that are on board went through an election, and they won the election. Who am I? They won an election, and I won an election. They are not my appointees. I did not appoint them. Those people, that, uh, uh, the coaches and the referees that are part of the board, I did not appoint them. They won an election. So my powers have limits. I can't say anything. I did my own appointment. And for my own appointment, you don't see anybody that is in coaches or referees or anywhere, not even to be a, a, a part of the team. Okay. Mm. So would you, uh, would you agree that, as, as, as you have said that the constitution has been given to the, pre, uh, to the lawyer, lawyer a day to check, would you agree that there should be a change henceforth so that the body, uh, the participants or the operators and the authority. My brother, if I have a coach in my board, it is good for me because I'm working with the coaches. He will speak the voice of the coaches. If I have a promoter on the board, he will speak the voice of the promoters. If I have a manager, he will speak the voice. See, we need all these people. If I go and bring people who have no idea about boxing, do you think I'll be sitting here by now? and be telling you the achievements. You think I did that alone? Bringing this title is an idea of a referee, the second vice president. That is Roger Bano. You understand? So you need these experienced guys to be with you as a president. Maybe they should wait when the next president come. But for me, the, the coach, Kaloko, the referees that I have around me in the board are helping me because there are certain mistakes. If not them be with me, I could have made because I don't understand anything about referee and uh, decision taking on other things. So if it happens, I call Roger and I call Jay Anna. They understand everything. They will tell me, President, we have to do this. We don't have to do this. If there is uh, anything about the coaches, I call Kaloko. Kaloko advised me, uh, we can't do this, we have to do this. So for me, they help me a lot in the board. That is why I can tell you that we have arrived, arrived at this achievement. And the, in the history of boxing, within that seven months of my office, you yourself cannot compare it to the previous. You understand? So yes. Is there any other thing you want to say to the boxing community and to the organization? I want them to love boxing. I promise them the new face of boxing. And that is exactly what I am doing. Yes, uh, I brought the boxing league. It's kicking off this 19th. It's happening at the boxing arena. And uh, the fight is going to be tough because we have most of them deputants, you know. And this is a gym competition. So it is not about Achi Agbeishin. No, no, no. This is Jim Akotoku versus Atokwashi. You understand? So it's a gym competition. So uh, uh, you, you should expect a tough and something serious that is going to happen to Ghana boxing. So uh, uh, I pray that we meet everybody at the boxing arena. And our rate, too, is, uh, is very cheap. Uh, the popular stand is 100, 10 CDs. 10 CDs that we are taking for the 
proper stand. We want people to come and enjoy boxing. The ringside is going for 50 CDs. You can walk into the GBA office and get a ticket. Uh, so uh, we, we are bringing are advanced tickets. Yes, uh, yes. And where, that, apart from the GBA, where currently the GBA office. Okay. Or you walk into the Max TV uh, uh, building at uh, 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 Dakuma Junction, you can also get. The VIP is 50 cities. Uh, then the, the popular stand, uh, uh, that, that is the VVIP is 50 cities. And then the VIP is uh, uh, 20 cities. And then the popular stand is 10 cities. So we expect a lot of people to come. You can watch our fighters also on Max TV. We showcase the fighters that will go and fight on that particular day. And this one is going to be beautiful. We are blending the professional with the amateur and, and then the juvenile as well. So you enjoy uh, every fight. And the fight is also going to be live on Max TV and Adipa TV. So uh, everybody should, should watch out for the new face of Ghana Boxing. I love you all. This is Ghana Boxing. The professional league is back. Thank you, Mr. President, for this rare privilege, and we appreciate your time. We have taken much of your time, but I'm most grateful for this opportunity. And Best Sports TV, Sports Lovers, I'm most grateful for this opportunity. Remember, Sports Lovers, there is no limit to greatness. Go and conquer whatever you want to do, and the world would be yours. Thank you for watching. Stay positive. Au revoir. Bye-bye.